Gonna shake it too hard, it's gonna fall off. <laughs> well, we really ask people to, to shake their mailbox when the weather is nice so they can go out and they can feel that mailbox and replace the ones that are bad. So you take advantage of the fall weather, the warm temperatures, and get yourself a nice secure mailbox to protect your mail and your paper throughout the coming winter months. It's much easier to repair it now than what it is in the heart of the winter when the ground is froze and it's 30 degrees or 20 degrees and you're mad because your mailbox is damaged and you lost your mail and it could have been prevented. You can see this one is not gonna last the winter. Not only is the post bad, the support underneath is all rusted out. You can see this Rubbermaid box that somebody's driven some wooden stakes next to, but how easily you can shake the mailbox. Again, there's no way that is going to last the winter. This is going to be this is going to hold up to a Michigan winter for sure. Post is in good shape. Box is solid. It's a perfect example of what a good box and a good mailbox should feel like and shake like in the winter. And again, it's much more convenient to replace your mailbox on a day that the sun's shining and it's 50 degrees versus winter when it's zero and the wind's blowing and your mail is scattered down the road and the post is broke off.